Hey, hey guys, Mel Modeler here with Armour Hobby's latest release, their P39Q Aero Cobra in 170 second scale. Before I go on to that, um, I do want to very briefly touch on their new boxing of the P51 Mustang. Uh, obviously, I've already covered this particular kit, so I'll put a link in the description for that um, for the full review. Um, and obviously, if you want to skip to the Aero Cobra review, please do. But I do just want to touch on this very briefly. Um, first off, look at this absolutely stunning box art. Um, I mean, that is a painting and a half. Just, it's worth it for that alone. Um, and like I say, we've already covered the kit, so I'm just going to talk through the different decal options that you get with this one. So with this kit, you get uh, five different options. You've got four plus a bonus. Uh, you've got the old crow here really iconic aircraft um, with uh, Clarence Bud Anderson then we have this option here Midget. then we have this other one from Leyston and this is what I'll be doing uh, very nice Then we also have this one. Again, really awesome. And then we have the fifth option, which is a bonus scheme, which is this one here. Very nice. Um, there's these two here. And then obviously some details about the upcoming releases and stuff like that. So, like I say, I just wanted to touch on that very briefly because I think that's a brilliant boxing. And I'll put the link in the description um, up on the top so that you can see the full kit review of that particular Mustang, uh, which covers the instructions and the kit itself. But this video is all about the Aero Cobra. So let's dive right into this box. So lots of goodies then. First thing I want to highlight is the nose weight. Uh, this is brilliant. They have engineered it so that these, this weight fits perfectly inside the kit and is the right weight. So I'm really looking forward to trying those out. Uh, we have the clear parts sprue. Uh, and I am going to get these out of the bag because I did get um, some comments on the last video that the clear parts sprue is something you want to see. So giving the audience what they want, here you go. Um, so you've got the doors that are separate, which is great because it means you can open them. And you've got some really crisp, clear parts there. Basically everything you've come to expect from an Armour Hobby kit, really nice. Uh, so that's that. And we're gonna dive into the instructions in a bit, but I've had a chance to look at these sprues and Wow, I mean, the detail is sensational. Again, I've started to come to expect nothing less from Armour Hobby these days, but look at that. Really quality, and then onto the fuselage. That detail is just brilliant. So you can see there, you've got the this is sprue one, uh, at least I think it is, I haven't actually looked, but let's call it sprue one. <laughs> um, so you've got the upper wings, the fuselage, you can see you've got two different propeller options there, which means that there's more of these coming. Uh, looks like some cockpit detailing in there as well. Then for sprue two, again, you've got the really lovely detail. I mean look how crisp that is. This is the sort of thing you'd expect from like a resin kit or something. Really top quality. And there's the tail plane and you can see there that's the the nose part where those three um, sort of weighted balls go. Uh, that is indeed a third propeller option. Uh, you can see you've got drop tanks and bombs there for ordnance. 
very nice indeed. Right, let's take a look at these instructions. So you can see details about the decals, clear parts. This kit comes with a mask set and there's the, the weight. There's your sprue map, details in Polish and um, British, English even, about the, um, the aircraft itself. Then you come across and in pretty typical fashion, you start with the cockpit interior. Very nice. And even here you can see you've got the um, transmission rod going through there. Very nice. Here's the, the weighted balls, five millimeter steel balls. Very nice. Coming across then, so the fuselage halves go together. Then we move on to the wing section. Then tailplane starts to come together and then they attach to the fuselage with the wings and basically then you've got your P-39. Then we move on to the undercarriage. Very nice, there's the nose wheel there. Clear instructions on how that all fits together, where you need to get your fixing points very good I mean I haven't built this yet and already I'm thinking that I'm not going to have any problems at all famous last words of course um, yeah looking really good here's your ordnance options and yeah there you go We've got the choice drop tank medium sized bomb large bomb then we have our stencil placement and we have okay so here is our masks I'm not sure how much the camera is going to pick up of that but that's really useful stuff then we have our decals a look at those you can see already a number of different options with this kit common parts then we have our different uh, scheme options. So we've got one, two. I'm debating which one to go for, whether we go with the box art or this scheme number two. This is my preference at the moment, but let me know in the comments below as to which one you think. Um, you know, it might not be one or two, it might be three, four. Um, so we have three, which is an Italian option, very nice. Uh, this scheme here, I have the Academy kit uh, ready to go with those uh, markings there. And then we have a fifth and final Polish option. So yeah, absolutely lovely stuff from Armour Hobby. Um, like I say, every time they produce anything right now, I'm looking forward to it, I'm excited by it. And yeah, should be a really good kit this one so uh yeah join me for the build video uh, whenever we get to that one and i'll catch you on the next one cheers guys bye